can you say such things? You talk as if I have not been doing my best for you. Huh? Uh, brother, you have indeed been trying. You've been trying. What about the 20,000 Naira I gave to you? Did I ask you to pay back? What eating you? Why do you make things so difficult for me and my family? You know that you're my brother. I'd have made you eat those dirty words just uttered. Okay, you gave me 20,000 naira, so what? So what? I gave you that money for you to look for a woman to take care of you. Look, babe, I am ashamed that at your age you are still a bachelor. Do you know how much ridicule your remaining a bachelor has cost me in this village? Have I ever told you that getting a wife is my problem? Have I ever told you that? What then is your problem? What is your problem? At your age, you, you are still a bachelor. I wonder what you gain by remaining single. You cook your food by yourself. You roast your yam alone. You eat your food alone. You go to the farm, harvest and carry your food stuff and your firewood all by yourself. I ask again, then, what is your problem? You are my problem. Me? Yes. Me? Yes. I am sorry that I came to you for your opinion. If you are old enough to challenge me, then you should be old enough to advise yourself. Well, I gotta leave my house. Huh? Leave my house. You heard me, didn't you? I said leave my house. Oh, I got my brother. I should have known that this Pem Kennel business is very profitable. Very soon, you will be the proud owner of a new house. While I remain here, in this thing that I inherited from our father, wasting away. What have I not done to be successful in life? What? Why must things be against me? Why? Maybe our father blessed Onaga before he died and, and cursed me. Well, something must be done. Oh, yes, something must be done to a barking dog before it pronounces the master's name. Something just has to be done. It was Uzak who opted to stand in for her husband because he traveled. Uzak is a very arrogant woman. What makes her think that she qualifies to stand for her husband? I mean, I'm not kinsmen. Is she a man? Is she a man? That was because her husband, younger brother, could not do anything while the only parcel of land was being snatched from them. Uh, whatever happened, Uzako has no business speaking for her husband while her husband's brother was there. The man should have been allowed to say whatever nonsense he has to say. That is if he was ready to talk. Please let us forget about Uzako and her husband's kinsmen. Let us mind our own business. Okay. Let me leave you people to discuss. As if you knew that I was about coming to them. Uh, brother, you said uh, we were going to discuss something vital. Yes, I said so. My ears are open. What is the secret of your success in this spam kennel business? Is it not the money you are making from this business that you are using in building that other house? <laughs> There's that. I have no secret. God is my helper. Onaga, you are not telling me the truth. There is something about this business that you don't want me to know. After all, am I not in the same business? Why am I not prospering? Did I kill anybody? Onaga, did I kill anybody? You introduced me to this business. In fact, I started with you as a boy. What other secret is it that you did not teach me? Or are you trying to insinuate that uh, I... Tell me the truth. 
What is your secret? Just tell me your brother. Tell me the truth. I have no secret. Uh, so you don't, you don't want to tell me? Eh? Oh my God, you don't want to tell me? All right. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I don't even want to know. Don't tell me. I don't even want to know. Let me go and ask God why I would not prosper in this people at the time. What is it? Was there a problem? No. Then why is he going in that manner? I said there is no quarrel. Hmm. Are you sure? Daddy, won't you drink? No. Thank you. That's all right. Um, that reminds me. Your older brother's behavior has changed recently, especially towards you. And I'm not happy about that. <laughs> I'm yet to know what his problem is. He was insisting that I tell him the secret of my success. Which success? I think it is the house that I'm building that is generating some jealousy. <laughs> Lazy people are usually jealous. So I don't know why. You said that uh, there is some secret about Pam Canel business that I'm keeping away from him. <laughs> Pam Canel business? The one he taught you? Oh, senior. Hey. In that case, you just have to be very careful with him. Ah, I am not taking him seriously. Because soon, we will all go to live in Enugu. And is it true? Yes. <laughs> um, I want to venture into vegetable oils, soaps, and other oil products. I want us to live close to an open market city where my business will get some boost. You said that before. Yes. And when we leave this village, he will stay here, and his misfortune will be his only companion. You have a point there. Uh -huh. <laughs> sure you were coming to my place or uh, you were going somewhere else and mistakenly <laughs> you came in here. Why are you always talking like that? Huh? Have I not been coming to your house before? <laughs> All right. Bring this seat. Let us sit outside. <laughs> Problem. There is something I want us to discuss. But I don't know if I'm dis disturbing your work. Of course you are disturbing me, but just go ahead and finish it. Okay. I'm sorry for disturbing you. Maybe I should come back later in the night. Look, if you come back in the night, you will not meet me. Why are you behaving like this? Huh? If it is a matter of uh, the secret of my uh, success, I've told you that I do not have any secret or any charm that... Whatever it is that you want to tell me, please say it and leave. Mm. 
I'm planning to take my family to Enugu. Congratulations. When are you leaving? You have not asked me the reason why I want to relocate. Are you are saying congratulations? I don't have to ask you the reason. I know. You have become a rich man now. You want to leave us in the village, go to the township, and join the other benevolent spirits have cracked their pub kennels for them. What other reason could you have? None. I thought I would let you know as my elder brother. Thank you. Now that you have told me, I have known. All right. I'll be on my way. Yeah. Goodbye. See you. Yeah. Tell me what the problem is between you and your brother. It has become common knowledge that both of you are not getting along well. When did this quarrel start? Mm -hmm. So my brother came and reported to you. Uh, well, if he did not, then his wife did. Stop this unnecessary suspicion. Answer my question. Question. I suspect my brother. Of what? My brother is very successful. Everything he touches succeeds. He has a wife and children. I, I don't have a wife. He is building a new house. He lives in the city. Everything he touches succeeds. In my own case, whatever I touch fails. And to make matters worse, nobody even likes me. Nobody. What have I done? Maybe your brother has a stronger willpower than you. Uh, he goes into opportunities. No, I don't think so. When we were kids, my father always showed him more affection than he did me. So how am I sure that my father did not take him to a secret place and bless him before he died? If your father wanted to bless any of his sons specially, it must not be done in secret. Ezani, don't be biased. Go back to your brother and make peace with him. That's my advice. My brother Onaga is very arrogant. He talks to me anyhow. The other time he came to tell me that he wanted to move to the city. See the way he was addressing me. And he was commanding a house boy. He did not even come with palm wine, let alone a bottle of schnapp to his own elder brother. Ezani. Jealousy is like a little tongue of flame thrown into the hammer time bush. If any of the dry grasses not before the fire, the whole bush, including the farm lands, soon blazes through. Be careful. You talk about jealousy as if I am jealous. Am I jealous? Well, I don't know. My, you drink water so religiously as if it's an expensive liquor. My dear, water is life. I like it. <laughs> Maybe alcohol will not go well with his age now. Even those who are older than me take alcohol in a day for you. Did they join their ancestors? <laughs> oh, let us, let us get you something. No, huh? please. Clean water tickles my fancy more. Yeah. <laughs> yes. I come to know the day people will be moving with back to the city. Next week. Next week. Well, uh, Naga, I spoke to your senior brother and uh, discovered he was not comfortable. I don't know why he's so bitter about that. I don't know. Why is he not comfortable? Look, now, when our father died many years ago, he seized the house he now lives in, saying that he is the first son. I did not quarrel with him. He has seized all the plots of lands and all the palm plantations that our father left for us. I accepted everything like that. He withdrew me from school. I did not complain. Now God has chosen to bless me in this business. 
and he's not happy about it. What does he want me to do? I've told you, I've told you to be careful with him. Oh, I know. I know. Uh, Nani, please. I'm putting you in charge of this house and the completed building. Mm. While we were away, Nani. Mm. Um, we'll be coming home from time to time to see you, please. Well, provided your elder brother will not agitate. Well, all his agitation will be limited to his house, then. not here. Well, I've heard you. I pray that as you go back to the city, the spirit of our ancestors will grant you journey mercy. Amen. Amen. Thank you, sir. So when did they say you should come back? On Tuesday. Tuesday. How many drugs will you supply today? 92. 92. The problem is that I don't have that number of bags in my store. I may have to buy from other people to make up the number. Good idea. Mm. Yeah, but make sure you don't supply anything short of our soap. You know how it will tell on your business if the company discovers that Pancanel supplied has no good extras of the uh, Pancanel oil. Please. Short Pancanel oil. Yes, Please. I know. You know, eh? That's why you must insist on our soap. <laughs> Thank you, my Thank my you. dear. Thank you. Thank you, eh? Hey. Yeah, that reminds me. Uh, remember your meeting with the director of the vegetable? Ah, you know, I nearly forgot. I know you forgot. Mm -hmm. Thanks for reminding me. Look, your good advice and support have helped me progress this far in this business. I won't forget it. That's what it should be as your wife. Thank you. Now, listen, I can't. Let my brother be better in the village looking for whom to envy. <laughs> Listen, let me tell you. But he may change in future. No, no, let him not change. He has always been like that ever since we were growing up. Let him not change. I pray I'll see you, eh? something. If a boy, if a child grows too tall for the father to look at his head, he cuts off his legs, brings him down to size, stares him into the eyes and scolds him. That is what is meant by cutting somebody down to size. Onaga, I shall cut you down to size. Oh yes, I promise you that. I shall cut you down to size. Why do you want to kill your brother? He does not respect me. I want him to stop insulting me. By sending him to untimely death? You see, each time... Yes, you know that I don't. I, I cannot do that. You have no reason. I don't care without reason. You have no reason for wanting to take the life of your younger brother. Leave this Let me tell you something. Well, you see, in my family, I am the head. I but said, leave, leave this place, Ezan. Your mother's way power is stronger than your jealousy. Leave. How I leave? I leave. I leave. I leave. Who is this? Who 
is coming my way now? Ezani, the son of Ogechi. Why? Why are you bent on doing this? He is your blood brother. Have you ever turned down my request? Ezani, can you pay the price involved in doing this? Even if it involves sacrificing my manhood, I will do it. Ezani! Ezani! Adaka Gelia Bana, one got your meme. Opa Tabaja, or will you see blue? I got an outauta. Oselisa Nilema, Oselisa Nilema, or my bobble blue. Tibia will move good dibia. Tibia will go near you. I am ready. 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 I an alternative. These things are difficult to obtain. I hate argument. Yes, I hate argument. And you know this. Now I'm going to Akata, the native doctor. He will help you to lay hands on those items. Getting those items is his area of specialization. Go! Go! Why? Why is it that good things to ask God? Why? Please, uh, don't ask God questions. Hey, huh? hey, hey, hey. It's hey. okay, please. Huh? Hey, just last week, just last week, he bought the car. The same car he died in, the same car he died in. Something is wrong somewhere. It's all right. Hey. It's all right. Uh, let us not attach much meaning to all these things. Huh? You just wait in the car. Oh, no, go away, me. Oh, no, go away, me. Oh, no, go away, me. Why me? Why me? Something is wrong somewhere. I feel it. Something is wrong somewhere. Where do I put them? Where do I keep them? What do I do? Why do I do? Oh, no, go me. 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 Onaga, 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 why does God allow such things to happen to very good people? Look at Onaga, my brother. Look at Onaga. Who will say that Onaga ever did anything against him? Nah, yes, I. Take it easy. Your brother has gone. No amount of tears can bring him back. Yes. You're asking me to take it easy. You know what it means? For somebody to lose the only brother he loves so much, you're asking me to take it easy. All right, I will take it easy. We all know. All we are saying is, one does not test the depth of a river with both legs at the same time. Do you know why this thing is paining me? I said it. 
I said that Nganelo was going to kill my brother. Ezani. Ah, nobody did anything. Ezani. Nobody can said you anything. Say such a thing? Now yeah. it is too late. How can you say such a thing, Ezani? Look at the way she was manipulating him. Anybody in his right senses would have known that that woman was capable of doing anything. Ezani, what is all this? Ezani, wise men do not talk the way you do. Eh? Oh. Watch what you are saying. Eh? Ezani, it is okay. Must you kill yourself because your brother is dead? Oh. Eh? Must you? You are welcome. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. I, I'm sorry for your brother's death. I was shocked when I got the news. Igwe, thank you very much for your sympathy. Onaga's death shocked every one of us. Understood. This is why I asked Aaron to accompany me to this place so he will bear witness to what I have come to tell you. My brother's wife, Wanilu, will be made to perform some rituals. How do you mean? Igwe, tell Ezani to stop being wicked. He must stop planning evil against the late brother's wife. I called you here to support what I have come to say. And then look at the way you are talking. Hey, just look at the way you are talking. Ezani, it's okay. Remember, he is your senior. Don't talk to him like that. Your Highness, why must he take the affairs of our family into his hands? Is he our father? Is he our father? If I am not in any way related to your family, why did you invite me here? Tell me. Ezani, what exactly do you want your brother's wife to do for you? Thank you, Your Highness. My brother's wife must be made to drink the water with which her husband's corpse was washed. That way she can prove whether she's innocent of his death or not. Sounds easy. Whether you like it or not, she will do it. It's okay. Let us not quarrel over this issue. Uh, when the time comes, we will put our heads together. All the same, if she is innocent, why will she refuse to drink the water? I, mean, I, I, I can't understand your highness. I don't like this idea. Ezan is only trying to give the dog a bad name in order to hang it. Your Highness, whether anybody likes it or not, she must be made to perform that right and prove her innocence, that's all. Ezan, it is only natural for a healthy individual to rise up to the motivation of music. At times, one may refuse to dance. It is not by force. But when the gods play the drums, the person being invited must respond. Take heart. Onaga has gone to respond to the music of our ancestors. No amount of weeping will ever bring him back. Yes. What else do I have to say that Aaron has not said? Advice is best where one gives it to himself. Same applies to condolence. In the Bayarano spoken well. I will try to bear the loss. But how can I get my brother Panaga just like that? But how? I insist that his wife is responsible for whatever happened to him. Yes. If she thinks she is not then let her go through the ritual to prove her innocence. Yes, in that case, let us call her and tell her our conclusion. Yes, we have to. Let us go and call her. Let us go and see. Uh, our wife, the Council of Elders has decided that you will do something for us to prove your innocence. You will drink the water washed out from the body of your late husband to prove that you are innocent. I've been told that before. Ah, then it is going to happen now. So, 
Sit here. Wait here, eh? Um, let us go and get the water. My departed husband is here. <laughs> and he sees all this. <laughs> if I killed him, why wait for another one yet to strike me? <laughs> Let him kill me now as I drink this ice saw. If I am guilty, drink this thing and avoid too much talk. Eh? If I'm wrong. After one year, and you do not die, we will know that you are not guilty. But meantime, remain seated on that mat for one traditional week. Let Nkwa, Eke, Oye, and Afo be your witness for this oath. You will not live here to go anywhere. Except to go and bath or you want to ease yourself. Food will be brought to you here. Huh? Do you hear me? Please. Oh my God. Uh, let us go. Oh my God. 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 I am still waiting to hear from you. <laughs> um, I have come to remind you of something you already know. Everything that he had now reverts to me, including you. What? Don't shout. Maybe you didn't know. But now you know. Yes, it is tradition. So, you will uh, relinquish everything that is in this house, including all the things in the other house in the village. Ezra, you will never get me. Never! <laughs> You don't have a choice in the matter. It's tradition. You are already my wife, so it's not a question of never. In fact, very soon I will come here and continue from where my brother is. Oh, <laughs> Meanwhile, um, go and get me a cool bottle of water, hey. wife. From the hey. Oh my God, where are you? <laughs> Oh my God, where are you? How can you be now? This is what happened to me. What have I done? What have I done? Hey! Crying will not help you. It is tradition. What are you telling me? Since when did I say he became custodian of culture? Tell me since when. Well, uh, it, is, it is either you marry me or you abandon all this and go to wherever you like. 
heaven. Leave that portrait alone. Leave your dead brother's spirit to rest in peace. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Leave him alone. Him alone. All right. I'm not come here to fight with you. But let me do, if I come back here, if I come back here, yeah, tell me what else. We get man. Yeah. We get man. Leave my house. We get man. We get man. Leave my house. Leave my house. Leave my heart. We get people. We get people. I've called all of you together because there is something very important I want to tell you. What is it? Go ahead. Um, I went to the city to inform the widow of my late brother what tradition demands following the death of my brother. And she turned around and attacked me. Yes. The chair, my friend here, was a witness. Ezani, are you not being too fast? What do you mean too fast? Which other man survived from you have in this family to take care of this property? If, if not Ezani, a chairman should be reasonable. Sit down and stop supporting evil. Let me say it again. Aaron, let me say it again. Get me the keys to both houses. I am now the landlord, and I do not need your services as my caretaker. Don't forget you are talking to a titled man. All right. Please, give me the keys to both houses. Please. Ezani, why don't you tell us that you assembled all of us here just to collect the keys? That's you have said that before. And then ah. sit down. All right. Okay. Let me say it again. I call this meeting here so that you do not give me any excuse of distance. Go into your house. Get me the keys. I am the landlord now. That's simple, isn't it? <laughs> Good. I would have preferred to give you this key with the consent of your late brother's widow. Now, Iran, why do you require her consent? I am now her husband. And I take all the decisions on behalf of the family. You know that. You ought to know that. And the keys. And stop wasting my time. Let's go. Let's go. Wasting my time for nothing. Uh, Madam, <clears throat> I have brought my friend, Mr. Cole, as regard what you told me some time ago. His uh, cousin has a uh, two meal space in the shop of this. So I don't know whether you will like the place. You're welcome, Mr. Cole. Thank you, madam. Uh, maybe we have to look around more. Um, maybe we will see a better house in a better area. Please. Uh, but, madam, I told my cousin to reserve those two rooms because of the way. Mr. Bassi spoke to me concerning your plight. Actually, not that I am rejecting the offer. Okay. You have to keep it for me, pending on the arrival of problem from my in-laws, please. Huh? Well, I've had you. It's all right. Thank you so much. Thank you. That's very kind of you. Thank you, madam. Ah, don't worry, madam. What are we humans for? <laughs> well, uh, we shall be going. Anytime you decide, do let me know. Well, I appreciate so much. Thank you, madam. All right, thank, thank you, madam. So thank you. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye bye. Bye. Yeah. What are they? Are they all here? I'll go leave that here. Where's the mother? Yes, honey, what is it, Akin? We are all here and you're shouting. We must not insult him. I 
have you made up your mind yet? Whether you stay here and marry me or you leave? We are leaving. I see. If that is where you want it, okay. But remember, you are not living here with anything, right? Is that the reason why you gathered all those people here? Sorry, that's the only place you've made a mistake. Just a minute. Things. Drop all these things. You're not living here with anything. I told you earlier. That's the one you cannot do. There's no way I can leave my clothes and those of my children. Get out of this place. Let me leave the house for you. They're shouting at me. Where are the keys to the house? Where are they? Give me the keys. Do not be. That's it on the door. Try to be a brother's keeper. Let's help you take over the house. I'm sure that God will not abandon us. Let us go. What are we doing for you? Ezan. Ezan. <laughs> My God will never, ever forgive you. Life is a of mystery. As I mean, no problem. <laughs> Let us go. Try to be a brother's keeper. Hey. Okay. Do not be a terror. It may turn against you. Hey. Is that you okay? There's nothing as good as a fine house. Oh, but I want to do me. Very nice house. Is that? I'll be visiting you always. Uh, I like the way Prince like comes in together. Why the correct thing? So, here we are at last. In this place of deadness and dejection. Oh. What a word. My son. I've been created to adapt to any condition in life. Let us take things easy. Hey, Mama. What of that is car? It's one of the properties I sold off. My son, we need the money. Mm. Now you are right. When we get settled, I'll invest on something. Remember you're still in school. I will go to university. Same applies to your sister for your own. to see the landlord. Mm. When is she coming back? Very soon. Mm. All right. 
Go and get me a chair. Let me sit down and wait for her. Quickly. We have no chair except this one. I think you seized all our chairs and tables in the other house. You don't talk more than you are even about Gankari. Don't you know you are a small girl? Huh? Sit down, let us talk. If you wrong, go inside. Ezan, hmm? get up and leave this place now. I said sit down. I want to talk with you. I said Leave this place before I open my mouth. The most you can do is say that I want to rape you, that's all. And I know that somehow you can still love me, and you know that. The sooner you leave this place and save yourself from embarrassment, the better for you. Everybody in the village believes that you killed my husband. If you know the extent I have gone to convince them that you are innocent, don't be talking to me like that. Yes, the devil can never be a saint. Go straight to the point why you are here and leave this moment. All right. Sit down. I said sit down. I mean, will I bite you? Do I eat people? Sit down. <laughs> Go straight to the point. Good. We all know that my brother died inside a car. His car. My, our car. My, my car. Hey. Oh my God. May God rest your soul. Ezan, go straight to the point. Custom demands that I should take over his property. Therefore, where is the car? Give me the keys and let me go away. You have talked nonsense. Like I said, get up and leave this place, Ezan. I only asked a very simple question. I said, where is the car? Give me the keys to the car. Let me go. It is my entitlement. Okay. Let me go and get you the car keys. Hey, hey, good one. Okay. Seracus. Ezekiah. Hey, madam. What is it? That's the problem. Go near What's my the friend. Problem? Yeah. I see. So this is what you have planned, eh? What are they to come and kill me? That you killed your husband. I will not defend you again. I'm, I'm going to tell you that you killed your husband. I, I, I now have the evidence. You keep it moving. Why are you looking away? Have I spoken badly? What did you say? Uh, what were you saying? You mean you didn't hear me all this while? Mm -hmm. Anyway, what I'm saying is that you should please lend me 2,000 naira. My in-laws will be visiting this weekend, and I need to entertain them. Mm. How are you sure that I have 2,000 naira to lend you? Eh? Uh, have you just come here to mock me and remind me that I don't have in-laws? Is that what you have come to do? Yes, what about the money you made from your brother's property you sold in Enugu? Not to talk of the money you are making from the ones here. Let me 2,000 Naira, Biko. Mm. Uh, Tim, you have known me for a very long time. I'm not a money lender. 
Have I ever looked like a money lender to you? Have I? I can't believe that IHM will ask you something twice and I won't get it. No, after helping you to achieve all this. <laughs> you know, this is what life is all about. You think you know people, but you actually don't know them. Forget about this money thing. Talk about something else, HM. Talk what else? What do you want me to talk? Eh? The worst aspect of it is that you are not even married. You don't have an immediate family that you take care of. Where you keep all the money you gather from duping people. I don't know. Uh, I have heard you. I have no family. I dupe people. This matter is adjourned, and the meeting is over. <laughs> I shall leave this place. What? I said leave my place now, go home. Ah. Now I know you are indeed wicked. I'm leaving this place, and will never set my foot here again. But you should have known that all along. <laughs> Bye-bye, married man. Go and take care of your wife and family. Come to borrow 2,000 naira. Idiot. <laughs> When you people eat, it goes right into my system. Angela, you are only exercising pity on us. If you don't want to eat this coconut, I will stop eating. Okay. Mommy is eating. Is someone happy now? Yes, somebody is happy. Mommy, for how long are we going to live in this place? My daughter, for as long as it pleases God of justice. I mean, let me make you a promise. Go ahead, my son. I know all what you have been going for our sake. I promise. And I look forward to a day when I become a man and take good care of you. <laughs> That's my son. <laughs> I'll buy you a car. Uh -huh. Change your drawer. Uh -huh. Make life more comfortable for you. That's my son. And in fact, you will know you have a son. Hmm? Who indeed is your son? Amen! <clears throat> My son, God is there in you. And I believe God is going to change our future. And wipe away our tears in Jesus' name. Amen! I 
Yes, sir. Yeah, Please, I want oh, you to wash my car fast. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Oh, you are still washing that one now. Uh, so that I can't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But the owner of that one is last in the hotel right now. Alright, no problem. <laughs> I can hmm? to make the load lighter for you. I can comfortably combine my car washing business with school. Won't it tell on your results? With this try hard work, it won't tell much. Mom, don't you want us to help you? Well, Mama, dry bones shall rise again someday. I couldn't. You talk like your father. How? I thought you said you would never come here again. Ah, that's a past tense. For old time's sake. <laughs> Take a seat and sit down. Hey. So you have already packed in? Well. I can't say I have packed in, but um, I am as good as having packed in, as you can see. <laughs> <laughs> this world is mysterious. Yeah. So you still have not heard from um, Manelo and her children? That man is a witch. Mm. You know that since after my brother's funeral, I've never set my eyes on her. I'm telling you. I don't even know how my brother got married to that woman in the first place. She's an animal. <laughs> Let her stay. Whenever she's tired, she will come back. Come back to where? Here. Yeah. Here. Mm -mm. There is no room for that woman and her children in this compound. Yeah. Not anymore. I will be the last person to accept her back into my brother's place. 
You don't have to stay wherever she is. You oh. stay there permanently. Oh. Hey, I'm hungry. I what did you cook? Because I'm not ready to eat this abacha with you. No, not at all. <laughs> I cook pita lip soup this morning. In bush meat. I hope it's dry cut. <laughs> Go to the kitchen, prepare some garlic for yourself. Uh, uh, I want to eat abacha today. Please do. You see what I told you? We certainly require somebody else in this compound. Yeah. I can't get along without anybody. Now that you are working and that you are earning very well, how do you go about being a man? <laughs> Mama, you can be too indirect when you choose to. How indirect was I? Mama, Mama, if you want to talk about marriage, why don't you just go straight to it? <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy you know what I am talking about. Um, yes, but Mama, I, I have one vital task to tackle. And that is securing Papa's properties in the village. I have not forgotten how Uncle Zani seized Papa's properties for over 20 years now. I must recover them. Um, my son, thank you for talking wisely. But I will advise you to forget about village uh, property now. You have a house of your own. All I need you to do is to get married. Later on, you can go and fight for your father's property. There is time for everything, you know that? Ah, uh, yes. Mommy has spoken well. Maybe Uncle Zani has not forgotten his acts of wickedness and witch hunting. Who's afraid of him? Who? Look, he did all that in the past because we were little children. Let him try it now. Let him try it now. Oh, no. I could not wait. I know how you feel. Like I said, get married first. Much, much later, we shall face the village problem. Hmm? <clears throat> I don't know if you say so. Okay. Um, have you seen any girl, or do I look around? Mm. Mama, Mama, just... Mama, no, 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 Mama, but please! I have, but I have pretty friends too, you know. You see, Mama, Mama, you're old, Mama, you're old school. Give me some friends. <laughs> What's the problem? You've been promising to introduce me to your mother for a while now. And not till now, I still haven't met her. <clears throat> Sweetheart, I want both of you to meet on a very special occasion, that's why. Okay. <laughs> Was that why you were not feeling at ease? Looking bored and looking lost? <laughs> My mother has to do something about marriage. What do you want me to say? We've been friends for some time now. So what do you think will be the possible end of this relationship? There are two possibilities. One is a breakup, the other continuity. In that case, will you marry me? <laughs> Can I think about it for, for a while? How long do you want to think about it before you give me an answer? <laughs> okay, bring really, your yes. <laughs> Um, Akuna. Hello. I called you and your sister to tell me that I want to start up some business and I need some money. Mama, I have told you several times not to worry. Just relax. Whatever you need, anytime, tell me. And I will make sure you have it. Listen, you are just turning your mother into a lazy woman and I don't like it. Just give me some money. Let me start off something. Mommy, you have suffered almost all your life to bring us up. 
Now relax and enjoy. Enjoy, Mama. I don't like such enjoyment. I don't. You talk as if I am an old woman. I am young. And there's no business I cannot manage today. Mama, Mama, let us say something else, okay? See, I have made money. I've made money. Give me some money, guys. <laughs> Very soon I'll buy you and Ify a nice car. <laughs> Whenever you want to go, just name it and that I will take you there. Thank you, <laughs> Mom, you see that? Uh -uh. You see? Hmm? Listen, if there's anything I hate in my life, it's laziness. Yeah. Brother, let's forget this business argument. Maybe much later, Mommy will understand. <laughs> hey, brother, how far have you gone with your new house? <clears throat> Finishing touches have been put to it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> <laughs> <laughs> what, what is it this time? Brother, I need money for my handouts. Oh. <laughs> God. When don't you need money? When? Okay, how much is it this time? It's 3,004. Give me space and stand up. Move over and stand up. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> Stop that one. Okay. <laughs> Stop that one. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Come on, take this. This is 3,005. Mama. Mama. <clears throat> Mama, look, I have to go. There's somebody in town I have to see. Okay, brother, bye bye. Well, come on, walk into the car. Bye okay, oh. bye. Go well. But think about what I told you. Mama, Mama. relax, relax. Mama. Ah. <laughs> Hey. Okay. <laughs> um. <clears throat> <laughs> we are here today in my son's uh, new house. It has not been easy, but thank God we managed well. We survived, and today we are happy that we are alive. My son, thank you so much. <laughs> I am very, very proud of you. <laughs> thank you, Mama. Thank you. Um, please, let's all stand while we make a toast. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, glasses, everyone. Yeah, glasses. Okay. <clears throat> Play your throats. <laughs> We wish for long life, progress, and good health. Hey, like cheers, it. everyone. <laughs> yes. Cheers. Cheers. Um. Cheers. <clears throat> um, brother, mm -hmm. you've not told us about somebody here. <laughs> all right, all right. Um, <clears throat> down, down. Mama, yeah. this is Rose, my fiance. Rose, my mother. Good afternoon, Ma. Good afternoon, my daughter. How are you? Fine, Ma. <laughs> and my younger sister, Ife. It's a pleasure. Same here. <laughs> I am. Somehow. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> what does she do for a living? 
She was a final year student of geology, Mama. Are you sure she loves you enough to be your wife? Mm, yes. There is no doubt about that, Mama. No doubt. How long have you known each other? Um, about, um, ab about six months or so, Mama. Six months. Just six months. Okay. Make sure you observe her very well before arriving at her conclusion. You know, these school girls, most of them are not ready to get married. What they want is a man that will be tapping for, only to desert him and get married to another man when they are going for their youth service. <laughs> Mama, you know maybe you're biased against school girls. Don't say so. We all are in Nigeria, and we know what obtains there now. Girls who are graduates and belong to the working class, they are more anxious to get married. And when they see a man that will marry them, they value the man. <laughs> mama, Mama, look, I think you're working too, too early on prejudice. Okay, okay Mama, see, what you should do for me, to help me, is to observe her and correct her when and when she makes mistakes, okay? I should help you, Zaba. I will do that. Oh, please do. Mm -hmm. Meanwhile, let me go and get the bag of rice I told you to come print it to keep for me. For you or for me? <laughs> come on, Mama. <laughs> you know the bag is for you and if you. What would I do with that both of you? <laughs> yes, right. See you soon. later, eh? Okay, Mama. Thank you so much. Mama. My dear. Have you succeeded in washing out this thing? Mm, it's going away gradually. But not so fast. Yeah. But I think it may go off finally. You have to soak it for some more time. I'll do just that. Mama. You seem not to be in support of Brother Kuna's marriage bid to Rose. Why? Did he tell you anything? No. I overheard your conversation with him. And I suppose you overheard my reasons too. Yes, and I think you're right. My daughter, you young ones are yet to see what I've seen. Go and soak the cloth. We'll talk later. Hmm? Okay, ma'am. Is this you? Hey! <laughs> You've grown this big. <laughs> you even have a car key with you. <laughs> okay. We thank God for everything. Hey! You're welcome. Uh, Aaron, welcome. Please sit down. Mm. You know, I could have passed you on the way without recognizing you. Hey! How is your mother? Uncle, she's fine. One last show never end. Mm. Um, Akuna asked me to accompany him to your house to discuss issues concerning his father's property. Which property? Um, Uncle, I thank you very much. You've been a very good custodian all these years. But I don't think I'm asking for too much. If I demand that my father's properties, which you seized many years back, be returned to me. What do you know about property? Uncle, what are you insinuating? I am not insinuating anything. You'll be bothered about when you'll be going back to the city. Not talking about that property. You're too young for that. Meaning that all we have come here to say is rubbish. I have not implied that. But listen to me, Aaron. I know you've been trying to tear this family apart. You will not succeed. You will never succeed. 
Akuna, don't let him influence you, right? I'll be taking charge of the property. When the time comes and you are fully grown, I will hand them all over to you, complete. Uncle, do I look like I have not grown up? Do I? Uncle, please, give me the keys to my father's houses, please. When you are tired of sitting, go home. Didn't I tell you? Didn't I tell you that madness has not left this man? I come now, let us go. I come now, let us go. When I look at your uncle, I see the blood pigment of the devil running in his veins. One has to be careful dealing with deadly things like that. So, they, I should leave him to go ahead and possess my father's properties, which by right should belong to me? People like him will be allowed at the mercies of justice and time. It will not be long, and you will say that I once told you something like this. When you get to the city, tell your mother that I advised this. Daron. Daron, if not for you. If not for you, Daron, I would have invaded this house this night to give him the most unexpected. No. That is not the way to go about it. Mainly issues that happened when we were still a toddler. Do you hear me? It has got to a point where a Zane will be allowed to fight with the spirits. Yes. sent you to come and kill me. Uncle Ezani, I'm going back to the city. Let not seem as if I've been deceived. But he who holds a child's belonging high will one day be forced by fatigue to bring down his hands. Mm. <laughs> I'm not surprised at the rate at which these words are tumbling out of your mouth. Like father, like son. Your father used to be very good with proverbs, I remember. You will release my father's belongings to me, either in peace or in pieces. Maybe, if not now, maybe later. Yeah. Yeah, Children and their threats. <laughs> Children. Mama. Mama, welcome. Hey, Evie. How are you? I'm fine. Agona. Mama. Where have you been? Oh, my brother. We've been calling your line and we couldn't get you. I just came back from the village. Sit down, Please sit down, sit down. And you told nobody before going? I didn't want anyone to discourage me from going. I'm sure you weren't there to make trouble with your uncle. Mama, isn't he worth making trouble with? Anyway, I left him because of day run. Brother, you mean he still seized everything in that house and the house too? Not only that, he is now living there and totally selling off all the major properties in the house. In fact now, Mama, as I am talking to both of you, that house is empty. Have I done completed one? Forget it. That's like an old basket. Akuna, I know how you feel. But you shouldn't have gone there to make trouble with your uncle. 
Now, has he handed over the keys to you or the house? Has he? No, Mama, he refused. That is it. Your uncle is very, very dangerous. Akuna, please, I still need you and your sister. Biko. Did you hear me clear? I hear you, Mama, loud and clear. Oh, darling, you're back! Mm. Mm. What's your story? Hi, what's up? Hi! Hmm. What's the agenda about? Well, yeah. Is that the way you now greet my mother? Is that the way you want to put it? Apologize to her now and stand up and get out of this place. Since when did all this start? Mommy, I am very sorry. Hmm. Hmm. Get up, let's go. Uh, ma Mama, please, Mama, please, don't do let's let's reconcile this matter. Uh, let's not let's escalate into something else. Get up from my feet. Mama, please. Mama, please, I, I beg you. Mama, please. Mama. You. You. Please talk about this. It wasn't intentional. I swear. That's all my case. Please, 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 Akuna. Mama. I will advise you in your own interest. The sooner you start looking for a girl, the better for you. What I saw in that girl is a whore. She's not a wife material. But Mama, you have to understand, she's my choice. I'm not saying she's not your choice. But I said what I want to say. I don't know why you seem to hate her from day one. I just don't understand. There has never been a place where darkness and light existed together. So, Mama, who's the darkness now? Anyway, I am not ready to entertain such questions now. Give you the little money I could lay my hands on. Here. Thank you, my son. You're welcome, Thank Mama. Thank you so much. 
Who is that thing that is leaning on your car? <clears throat> Mama, don't you know Rose again? Tell her that she's a fool. That I pity whoever her mother is. <laughs> Rose. Rose, come, come. Come and greet Mama. Good afternoon. You are a disgrace. Mama. I think Mama, stop. You are a disgrace. Listen, each time I see girls like you, I pity whoever they call their husbands to be. But listen, young girl, my family is not a level ground for you to come and play for information. Get ready to be shown the way. Mama, why are you saying all this? Don't be silly. Oh my. Can you don't be silly. I can see you're no longer with your senses. How can you be gambling with this thing that has no respect for people? Akuna, it will never work. It will never ever work. Uh -huh. Nonsense. She doesn't really like you. It's not as if she doesn't like you. No. I see why his mother is agitating. She wants to control her house and that of her son too. Impossible. I am in charge here. She cannot be a struggling block. I would do everything possible to keep this. You've been standing there for some time. No. I, I had cramps and... Cramps? I just wanted to stand and see if we could stop. Um, sorry. Show me the place. This lady. Um, let's, let's go sit down. Easy, just take it easy. Careful. Okay. Careful, careful. Just easy. Easy, 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 easy. Message it for I will do that. I will, don't worry. I'll get down there. Ah. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Ah. Maybe I should go get it back. No, no, no. It's okay. Just, just rub it. Sorry, sorry. Sorry. Baby, when I think about you. Need to think cause I just know La baby This is what you have since morning. Where did you spend last night? In paradise. <laughs> paradise. I beg tell me something. <laughs> La Raba. Yes. He is it. And apart from that, he is rich. I got a picture of them. Did you catch now? I'll come here. He has everything that could make a lady's head spin. Yes. And my head is spinning! <laughs> <laughs> I see. You're looking. I am! I want to remain so. Yes. Though his mother is proving difficult. But I have to do everything possible to hold on to this guy. No two ways. Yes. So, how do you want to achieve that? Bless him. How many times have I told you not to talk when big girls are talking? I beg you bless me, don't I? See, you're the kind of person that ends up marrying prime ministers and senators. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, let me ask you, is there really a face off between you and his mother? Do you think I'm joking? The woman just hates my guts. Serious. And I have to do something before she passes over all of these village girls to her son. Well, I tell you. See, are you sure she has not done that already? There are my points exactly. And I don't know what to do. Yes, who is it? It's me, Laraba. I am back. 
So where's the lesson? She ran home to mommy as usual. Eh? Baby, I brought something for you. What is it? Guess now. You know, I suck at guesses. Just tell me what is it. it is. Okay. Hold on. When did you become a spiritual consultant? I thought you were going to bring out something edible so that we can eat. Listen, wear this round your ankle. Go and make love to your man. And he'll be yours forever. Do to appreciate kisses. They say thank you. Silly, they kiss back. Hey, don't tell me they're begging for kisses. Do I have to beg if I want it? No. surprise of this unusual visit. <laughs> Please sit down. Nah, you're wrong. Are you trying to say that I don't visit or what? <laughs> I must not say a second welcome before you tell me why you are here. Maybe your friend Ezani sent you. You're not wrong. Ezani is no longer my friend. How come? I have discovered as an ingrate. <laughs> I will not start by telling you stories. But let us forget the past. Um, Nairon, I'll be going around making peace with those I offended while trying to please your son. Thank God for recollecting your senses. A wise son 
does not point at his father's house with the left hand. Thank you. Nay, you can help me extend a message of goodwill to Akun and his mother. I know you have a way of reaching out to them. Please, tell them that I am now a changed person, that I no longer support Ezan. Maybe if you have come last month, I couldn't have visited. I heard that he came around, but I was too ashamed to see him. If you are now a changed person, try to reach out and let people know that you are a changed person. He who says his mother's soup is sweet should tell us what it tastes like. Thank you, sir. I've heard you. I will put my effort, I promise. Let Ezani go ahead and swim in evil. When heaven decides to kill a man, the rain soaks him first. If he remains there, lightning comes to alert him. It is when his stubbornness remains there that the thunder comes to show him the way to his ancestors. Ezan has been challenging the three brothers of heaven. And when it ranks on him, yes, will tingle. Mm -hmm. um, thank you, sir. Uh, I have heard you. Uh, please, I'll be taking my leave. I must always wish you the best. Thank you. Right. Hey. <laughs> the boy has strong willpower. His spirit is too strong. Certainly not stronger than all the strong people you have killed. <laughs> With the applause. I love your courage. I'll give you something to keep for him. When the boy comes back to demand the keys to the house, put this inside the house on the floor. Then <laughs> give him the key. You see what will happen. <laughs> so with this, the problem is solved. Yes. Uh, will it kill him immediately or it will be gradual? Because I want it to be gradual. It will take a gradual process. During which time he will play a lunatic. The day he will die, it will be a peaceful death so that nobody has cause to suspect anyone. But remember, this must not touch the floor until the day you are ready to put it inside the house when the boy comes back. Thank you. Thank you. I will do exactly as you have said. You can go. Yes, can I help you? Was that a statement or a push-up? What are you people here for? I come my place, let's talk. Mommy? Yes? Give me five minutes, okay? Not to worry. <laughs> Can I help you, woman? It is so unfortunate. 
Look at that scruffy thing over there. It's called mommy. When you ask your mommy, it's not a woman. Don't give me the opportunity to insult you. Because if you do, I will not spare you. Don't be silly. I could not. Just one question. Then you can go ahead with your mommy. I could not. Why am I forgotten so soon? Could you rephrase that question? Meaning what? Meaning that I am in a hurry. I don't entertain programs or indirect statements when I'm in a hurry. Mm. Mm -hmm. I could not. It's now obvious that something is wrong with you. But I've come to advise you to stop heaping coals of fire on your head by neglecting me, your mother, and your only sister. You may have arrived, but if you fail to do what you're supposed to do now, time will come when you will be begging me to take penny from you, then I will say no. <laughs> uh -huh. You should have told me since that you want some money. Now you've spoken. Good. Anyway. Here, I'll take this. That's all I have for now. Maybe in the next two months I'll be able to wrap. What? Mommy, let's go. This insult is too much. I couldn't. I will say nothing now, but we shall see. Honey, what was that all about? I don't know. I don't do anything. No one wants this. Mommy, mm -hmm. I was able to get some mal malaria drops. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. stand up and. Mm -hmm. Hey! Has it come to this? Very long. Mommy, make urgent arrangements to take me to the hospital. Husband, I'm not very hopeless. You see what would make you make a complaint of this morning? Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Mm -hmm. What do I do? Mm -hmm. Good for me, okay? Mm -hmm. Just, just mm -hmm. relax. Mm -hmm. Okay. Sorry. Mm -hmm. I'll be back. Good. Who could that be by this time of the night? Well, it must be a human being at least. Well, Check who's at the door. Can I see my brother? It's very urgent. Who's your brother? Honey, who's that? It's these people and their problems. If anyone, what is it? What is it? Have I not warned you people not to come here again? What is it? Brother, this sudden turn of events beats my imagination. Why are you talking like this? Did she come here to ask us questions? I don't know. Brother, our mother is sick. She is right there in the house, dying. I am not a doctor. You people should take her to a doctor. Brother, if you don't want to come with me, give me some money so I can take her to the hospital. I said it. I said it. All you people care about is my hard-earned money. Get out. Get out of this place. Brother, I 
I am no stranger about for hopeless people. Get out, get out, get out. Brother, it's yours. Yes, my mother. So what are yes. you about? You must live to regret this. You must. You must live to regret this for not helping your mother. Your own mother. Okay, no problems. Mama, it's okay. Mama, it's okay. stop. Mama, it's okay now. It's okay. It's okay, Mama. Mama, I went to Brother Kudna's house, but he and his woman drove me away. Hey, why did you, why did you go there? Why? I thought I should see him. Hmm? Mama, I'll take you to a hospital right now. Hmm. When we get there, let the doctors refuse to treat you because of money. Hmm? Which hospital? Transport. Yes. Any hospital at all. Mm. Let me get your things. Yeah? Okay. Okay. the general hospital. My mother here is very sick. Could you help us, sir? I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Mm -hmm. You stayed on your way to the general hospital? Yes, sir. Does your family doctor work there or you know any of the doctors there? No, sir. No, we're going there because it's a government hospital. And you see, young lady, this is more reason why I wouldn't like you to go there. I mean, it is simply too late. And um, you cannot afford to see any of the doctors there. Did you have any chance, sir? Okay. Um, if it's a private clinic, I mean, the doctor who, who owns the clinic can at least afford to sleep overnight. Oh. Do you have any place in mind? Uh, well, um, I am Dr. Nelson Mokike. Actually, I am on my way to my clinic. I have some important um, emergency cases to attend to. I wouldn't mind taking your mother alongside. Please, sir. That is, if you give me your consent. Yes, I do. Please, then let's thank go. you. Let's go. Oh, I get off.
Yes, she's fast asleep. Is the trip still on course? Yes, sir. Uh, sir, that's what I was to say. Uh, let her come. Good day, doctor. Uh, good day, young lady. Sit down. Thank you. Thank you, doctor. I I hope I'm not violating office protocol. Just go ahead and violate it. How is your mother today? She's getting better. Thank you, doctor. Oh, you're welcome. Uh, maybe I should know your name. My name is Ife Iwa Onaka. Oh, Ife Iwa. That's a very good name. And you deserve it. For there is nothing as um, precious as a child. Thank you, Doctor. Well, you now know my name. Um, if you, know, you have a problem right now, Doctor. just go ahead and bring it up from the back of your mind. Doctor, why, why don't you read psychology or philosophy? <laughs> well, those are still a uh, part of medicine. So fire up. How do you? How do you? You know exactly how I mean, sir. I want you to know how much we're owing, so I can start running around for where to go. If you know, just do it till your mother recovers for you, okay? Okay. If you say so. Uh, you're welcome. I do. Okay, let me go back and um, stay with my mom. Oh, please. Thank you very much, Doctor. Mm -hmm. is this? That deal is very raw. Please just collect the money and fix it. If the man eventually discovers or is supplied to Kumba materials, we will sue him to court. First, for organizing a shady deal using government as a front. And what exactly are you talking about, Tom? You see, Dr. Wesley is highly collected. He has this contract to supply GSM handsets that will be sold alongside uh, service lines to subscribers in the eastern states. He wants to use a top government uh, parastatal to purchase them from a South African firm and then supply them here, yeah, triple the price purchased. We must be very careful, Tom, very careful. Yes. I had even gone to Booz, I can supply him 500,000 phones. Instead of paying to the South African film, he will pay to me. Oh, you're too much, old. Baba, tell me, are you not going too far? No. I will go to the computer village. Do you know the computer village? Of course. The final destination for all stolen Jason phones in the country. There you are. I will buy all those stolen phones at a very cheap rate. Send them to Dr. Wesley and collect his money. <laughs> Tom, 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 Tom. No, look. Don't involve me in any childish business. What makes you believe that the man will not discover that the computer village phones are stolen ones? Tom, why don't you travel to South Africa or America yourself and purchase sound phones for Dr. Wesley? You mean it? Of course I mean it. And since a large number is involved, don't you think that the phone company will make the delivery for you? Tom, look. Do sound business and make sound money. I think you have a point there. Besides, Dr. Wesley is willing to pay the upfront to the tune of fifty thousand dollars. Fifty thousand dollars? Yes. What else are you afraid of? I will go for the upfront tomorrow. <laughs> so, how am I part of the deal? Oh. You will travel with me, mm -hmm. we purchase the phones and supply them together. Then we share the profits. <laughs> now you're talking. Good talk. Uh, let's shake on that. <laughs> Good talk. Good business. <laughs> I was wondering. <laughs> Oh, 
Mama, you are not looking bright at all. See, if you don't get strong quick, I will abandon you and start attending my lectures. I know you're not trying to do this. <laughs> well, Mama, you see, um, if she does just that, I can assure you I'm here for you. Ah, uh, well, Mama, you know I'm really <laughs> I can't abandon you. But Mama, come to think of it, this your daughter loves you so much. Oh, of course. Yes. That's what it should be, you know. It can be funny. Hi, uh, um, Dr. Nelson. Mama. I don't know what to say. Why is it that you don't want to collect money from us after this much expensive uh, treatment? Well, Mama, the work of charity is not um, a personal belonging of Mary Slesso, Hope Wada, John Wesley, or Bishop Shanahan. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> Mama, um, from time to time, we do it in this generation. Oh, well, Dr. Nelson, I never knew you know much about missionary history. That means there are still lots of things you haven't known about. <laughs> 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 yeah. 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 May my God richly reward you. Amen. 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 May God richly reward you. Amen. 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 Um, Mama, please uh, make sure you complete your drop. Because they are antibiotics that are fit for combating malaria. Okay. One on one. Okay? Thank you so well, much. Ify, I think I must be on my way. So soon? Haven't I stayed long enough? No. <laughs> well, 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 I have an emergency case to attend to. I only hoped in to know how Mama is doing and to say hi. Okay, that was good. Thank you so much. Welcome, Mama. I appreciate it. It's my pleasure any day, Mama. Welcome, Mama. Mama, let me see you. Okay, Dr. Nelson, I am grateful. Eh? <laughs> Mama, you don't really help you. And I'm the one for us next. Thank you. Mama, just relax. I'm coming. Okay. Dr. Nelson, what for? Because yourself and your mom too. Ah, uh, uh, Doctor, why? I mean, this is too much. Call me Nelson. Okay. Oh. Nelson, thank you. Bye. Bye bye. God, what kind of a person is this?
Where did I keep these keys? Huh? Where? is not how it used to be. Uh, it was badly tampered. Uh, I said it! Yeah. Last time I said it. Oh, hmm? oh, oh, to the farm I saw this and I said somebody has accepted it. I just didn't want to say it. Ah, exactly. What brings you here? It's in my What about him? He has been crawling around since morning. Please, if people didn't come here, we would die there. Yes, 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 y
个社会上不多。straight from the airport. I left Ibado this afternoon for Lagos. It was in Lagos that I took a flight. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Excuse me. So, how far? The upfront is here. Wow. <laughs> this is wonderful. 50,000 dollars. Roaming. <laughs> but I told you. <laughs> hey, you see, Dr. Wesley paid me cash this evening. Too late that I couldn't go to the bank. Um, but why cash? This money is much too heavy to be carried about just like that. What if you... I will leave the money here in your house. You see, Yakona, if I take this money home, I don't trust my younger brother who is living with me. Satan may show him where I hid the money. <laughs> <laughs> so, first thing tomorrow morning, we go to the bank and put it there. Then we travel with the appropriate parts. The company can do the cashing. <laughs> no problem then. I'll keep it. Yes. When are we leaving? This weekend. Please, keep this money safe. Okay. I should be going. Sorry, I won't be able to see you often, but you, you know why. No problem, but please keep it safe. Don't worry. I couldn't, yeah. Mm -hmm. I'll see you tomorrow. <laughs> Take care. Bye bye. Oh, man. Uh, yes. Going out? Yes. Where are you going to? Well, somewhere in town. I'll explain when I come back. I don't get a pay. to give me fun that kill my mother. <clears throat> Dan, please, please, see. I, I, I'm begging you, ma'am. I'm begging you, please. Just don't consider me. Look, look at my face and have pity on me. Please. 
I promise you it will never happen again. Please, forgive me. Can I join in bed? Huh? Darling, I'm sorry. I really am. I, I promise you that it will never happen again. I promise you. This will give me, okay? this wardrobe. That means my suspicion was right. Beating me the other day and now hiding his money from me means that the efficiency of um, Larabascham is wearing off. I must play fast one. I know what to do.
to talk to me. What is wrong? You look so worried. Um, Tom, my fiance has killed me. <laughs> what did she do? Did she fight you? I would have preferred if she had done that. I, I was actually waiting for you to come and sh shoot me. What for? Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Um, Rose. Rose broke into my courtroom. <laughs> I carried away the business money. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Look, eh, Akuna, I've not come to this place for a joke. I am not joking. I am not joking too. Rose, Rose carried away the money and, and the briefcase. Up, up until now, I've not seen her. I've called her handset and it's been ringing and ringing, but she, she doesn't pick Now it. listen, listen and listen properly. You know how mean I can be when it comes to money matters. You better go and get my money complete and ready. If I come back to this house and you tell me this same cock and bull story, I swear to God Almighty, I will shoot you. You and your girlfriend cannot spare me of my money so cheap. You cannot. I could not. I said, you cannot. It cannot happen. Um, Tom, 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 Tom. Let me come back. Tom, Tom, listen to me. She, 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 she broke it. Tom, 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 Tom. Yes. Please don't, you, you don't have to say that. I'm making every effort to recover the money. Huh? Uh, no, Tom, to God who made me. I, I never knew of a plans to run away with the money. Honestly, Tom, you have to believe me. Please, Tom. Oh, God. Why? Rose, why? What did I do to you? Why did you have to do this to me? What was it you wanted that I didn't do for you, Rose? What? God. Oh, Rose have killed me.
have a flat tire. Yes, sir. Father, don't worry. Let me let me put out this one up. There, there. It's alright. It's alright. Yeah. Let, let the keys there. So let's go. It was that girl, Rose. She, she deceived me. She, she confused me. Now she has stolen a huge amount of money from me and disappeared. That is your business. Please, Mama. I am sorry. Please forgive me. Ify, please. I, I, I beg you. I, I want us to start living in peace like before. So why don't you live in pieces? Mom, yeah? no, no, please, now. I'm sorry. I, I beg to be forgiven. Please. Ify, please. Mama, Mama, you're my only mother. Ify, you're, you're my only sister. I beg you. I could never have neglected you people under normal circumstances. No. Some, something came over me. Something changed me. Please, I, I beg you, Mama. I, if you, if you please. Help me beg, Mama. If you want to come back. Um, I couldn't. Sit down. You see, I know 
that a day will come when Satan will leave your heart. I thank God for at last you have come back to your senses. Thank you, Mama. I, I really am very grateful. I said, come and sit down. He is your only brother, my son. You are his only sister, and I am his only mother. Let us accept him back, if only he has changed. Hmm? Yet you are safe, and there's nothing good about the day. Where is my money? Um, Tom, Tom, please. I, 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 I've been searching about for it. I, I've looked all over. I've even contacted the police. Akuna, you have three more days to give me my money, or I hit you. Tom, Tom, Tom. Brother, who was that? My friend, Tom. It was his money that was stolen and ran away. How much is involved? Fifty thousand dollars. My God. How come you could not have that kind of money from her? Rose broke into the world where I kept it and I'm almost with it. So what would you do now? Because this man sounds deadly. I, I don't know why I'm, I'm confused. I've done everything in my power to do. I've contacted the police. I don't even know where Rose is. It's okay, brother. It's okay. I know everything is going to be fine. Mama. I'm going. Brother, what did I do? Uh, Mama, you, you heard well. Two days more and I'll either be jailed or killed hey. because of those. Jesus Christ. I said it. Mama, what do you want me to do? I said it. Oh, 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 I don't know what to do, Mama. I'm at my wits and I, I, I don't know what to do. Mama. I said it. I'm going to. Mama. God is not asleep. God is not asleep. Check who is on the line and answer your call. Hey. Hey. I told you. Hello? Hold on. Hello? That's a call. Give him to answer. Hello? Who is the... Um... Hmm. It's a matter of urgency. Hey! Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. I'll, I'll be right there. Hello? Hello? Who called? Who called? Who called? Tom. Oh. He says I should meet him up at St. Martin's Parish. Oh, no problem. Mama, just pray, pray for me. I will pray. pray. I will pray. 
Hey! I said it. Do I come with you? Uh, no, no, just stay here with Mama. Just, just, just pray for me. No, 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 no. Sit down. You have a problem with your friend here. Yes, father. About money. Yes, father. Uh, fa father, please. I, I wanted to help me beg my friend Tom to, to forgive me. It was my own carelessness and trust in, 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 in that girl that called herself my fiancé that led me to this. Well, thank God that you are not, that you're too proved innocent of the accusations. I had a flat tire on the road. While my boy was changing the tire, I found this. When I opened it, I saw dollars. But, but Father, how did you know that the portfolio belongs to Tom? I saw a used flight ticket inside the portfolio with Tom's name and address in it. Since Tom happens to be a member of my parish pastoral council, I sent for him while he in turn called you. But, Father, this... This sounds like a dream. It's not real. Father Jude is correct. Gentlemen, come to money. I thank God for its recovery. Um, I couldn't. Please forgive me for my touch. It is natural. Father. Oh, thank you. Akuna. Akuna. Mama, I'm going to in a moment. Mama. What is it? The message from the village says that Ezan, your uncle, is dead. <laughs> unbelievable! How do you mean unbelievable? <laughs> One would hardly believe that such people die after all. <laughs> Only God knows why he allowed him to live that long. <laughs> Come to the real sense of it. He did not live long. Uh-uh, Mama. It's just that people expect wicked people to die soon. And when they fail, it looks as though they lived long. He did not. Mama, Mama, look. Now that he is dead, I suggest that the earlier we go to... Mommy, you uh -huh. That's my daughter. Mommy, you want You're welcome. Good day, Thank you, brother. Good day. Good day. Brother, meet a family friend, Dr. Nelson. Dr. Nelson, my brother, Akunna. It's, it's my pleasure, sir. You're welcome. Please, sit down. I'll see if I don't know. <laughs> um, Akunna. Mama. Dr. Nelson has been our benefactor. Uh, uh, Mama, <laughs> I must say that you are simply exaggerating the holy spirit. Mm, but that's true. Brother, 
He never looked worried or felt bothered by my persistent troubles. It's so good. Thank you very much, Dr. Nelson. Thank you. I hope we have more time to talk things over. I think so, too. <laughs> Mommy is a shy type. <laughs> <laughs> if he does, where you got it all wrong. I am not one bit shy. Oh, okay. Are you sure? All right. If I put on a music right now, would you boldly dance with me? Don't just start, Ify. Don't just start. <laughs> no, my daughter. You know it's it's okay, it's okay. <laughs> Get okay. to the dining, get yeah. more drinks, get oh, more okay. drinks. Oh, okay. Mm. So take this. Mm. Oh, um, Dr. Nelson. Yeah, uh, no, I think I'm... Uh, no, don't no, worry, don't worry, you must take something. pleasure having you people around me. Thank you. Honestly, Thank you. I am the happiest man. <laughs> I think this is the greatest day of my life. Oh, yeah. huh? Akuna, mm. you're welcome. Thank you, dear. Thank you, dear. Oh. Ah. Come in, come in, come in. Ah. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dear. Do you mean that this thing back? This very thing is, is a corner. Stand up, let me see you. Now. <laughs> this is another man. <laughs> Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Come on, what do you people eat over there? Uh, God has been taking very good care of us. Sit down, sir. 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 Where is she? My sister is presently taking her exams. Uh, hopefully she'll finish today and um, join us tomorrow with her fiancé. Go, 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 It is happening. Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Thank you very much. Hello, uh, <laughs> what is it? Uh, uh, this is wonderful. Honestly, we are very really, really to see all of you. We are happy to see all of you. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Oh, wow. Thank you. Um, Mandela. Well, uh, we are here when Ezani was troubling your husband. Yes. Onaga. Today he is dead. I thank God that you people are here. This is the bunch of keys to the houses. Ezani seized it from me when Onaga left. Hmm? No, thank you, sir. Thank you. Day, how did the letter get the keys? I let the complaint before the king's men. And when Ezani died, in fact, they had recovered it from his house. How did they see him die? The way such people die? He simply ran into a burning bush and got roasted in the Hamatan fire. That is the best way to summarize the whole story. It was after his death that um, we went to the house, to his house in the company of our elders and kinsmen and discovered the keys. Mm. Thank you so much. Don't mention my dear. Well, what do we do? Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you, dear. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so my okay now. Don't do this. Oh, my okay. Don't do this now. It's okay. <laughs> this is not a time for this. Huh? You should be rejoicing. I was in. Huh? Mama, it's okay. Please. Mama, please. Mama, please. Mama, please. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I wish to God you're okay. It's okay. Mama, I'm here for you. Mama, I'm here for you. 
I'm here for this you. This should be a happy moment for I'm you. I'm here for of you. Of course. Marilu, thank God I don't want to take to this kind of food. You, you, you can take back everything you huh? are. Please. This is from your husband. Please, please. It's a happy day. No, no, right. Wipe the tears. Hey. It's okay. You should be rejoiced. Life is full of mysteries 